All right, hi everybody. Um, welcome to um, a- another normal episode of We Sam's World. Um, uh, we are, we're live on Adobe Radio. I'm 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 really excited to do the show. Um, Alex, how are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, I'm I'm super I'm super excited to be here. And with the number one produ- number one producer on all producers of all producers, Peyton Grufik. Yeah, the best. The best. How's it going, Mr. Payton? How what you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> Nothing, man. I'm what just doing the show. No, what are you doing? What? Are you What's this bit? <laughs> There's no bit, man. I just I know you work for Boeing, yeah. and I don't want to upset you. I think Boeing's a great company. It's the best. It's the best. My dad works for Boeing. They're the best. They're the best. They're the best. They're the best. I forget your dad did work for Boeing. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> So, the best, so for those of you listening as well, <laughs> uh, another really important uh, position at Boeing, where somebody who's in charge of quality control uh, just mysteriously died of an infection recently. Have you been? Wait, are you being for real? One hundred percent. A whistleblower. Hey. Died. Another one. Guys, they're killing them. <laughs> Can we say that? Can we factually say? Uh, Allegedly. 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 Something's happening. That's what somebody else said that I'm relaying that information. Yeah, the internet said it. Allegedly. But it is kind of weird, the pattern that's been happening. Right. And, I mean, it's kind of scary because I fly quite often. Yeah. And I've heard some conspiracy theories... (laughs) <laughs> behind why this is happening. Always a good thing to start with. Yeah, of course. We love a good yeah. conspiracy theory here, don't we? Now, I, I don't necessarily believe this, but I can kind of see where people think this might be true. The fact that we're going to get so programmed at hearing about how, you know, airplane Boeing airplanes are not as safe as they were or are. Yeah. And so when we hear about a plane crashing, it's not about, it's not like a big surprise, if that makes sense. Yeah. And possibly someone of a, I'm not going to name any names, obviously, but someone in the future of a high status or high position and power might be on one of these airplanes and it goes down, it won't be considered suspicious. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Not yeah. what I'm saying, but yeah. What, oh, yeah, I yeah, see yeah. what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 So it's really interesting what's what's out there now. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My dad was an aircraft engineer. R- I know. Yeah. That you you got your little what was it Pan Am? Little yeah. Pan Am hat. Yeah. Pan Am and then his original Eastern Airlines hat. Is that the name of the airline? Uh there it was an airline. Uh, I I've never even heard of that. Yeah, Eastern Airlines and he did work for Pan Am. The Pan Am one I got actually uh in Washington. Uh, because of Boeing, Bo- Boeing having their headquarters there. Go with Boeing, number one. Um, <laughs> 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 Got to cover our tracks here. Because <laughs> Bo- don't, don't hurt yeah. my dad. No, no, no. I, I love Boeing. I the fly Boeing, Boeing all the time. Yeah. I have to fly Boeing all the time. I, I, most, most of the consumer population has to fly Boeing. And why wouldn't the they? Time. Why wouldn't they? It's the best. 737 Max. Oh, amazing plane. <laughs> Quality. Quality plane. Are you kidding? I fly on it all the time. Nothing's happened to me. Not one crash. I've actually flown over 75 times. Wow. On airplanes. I like that you've kept track. Yeah. I counted recently, yeah. It's yeah. over 75 times I've, be- I've been on an airplane. Nice. And uh, the, funny enough, the majority of that was d- during shooting Law & Order I, because I was flying back and forth. Anyway, um, but yeah, I have my dad's original Eastern Airlines hat. Nice. Still has his uh, name in the oh, in that's there. Nice. Sam, yeah. That's nice little keepsake. Anyway, um, but yeah, I, uh, I've been hearing a lot of that in the news. My TikTok feed has been very interesting lately. How so? Yeah. I'm, I've come across someone who I absolutely love. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, you all know what NPCs are, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peyton? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's this guy who acts like 
Did I send this to you already? No, but I, I think he's sent, naturally come page. across yeah. okay. my For You page before. Oh, we got to find his name. I'm looking at the people I follow right now. Where he just goes into businesses. No. Just, no. No, 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 I, no. I've seen an NPC guy where he just straight up walks into no, offices. No, this guy he isn't. No. He's not cruel about it. It's oh, more like a my real. My guy is cruel about yeah, it. Yeah, no, this guy is oh. like more of a genuine. I'm going to give him a shout out. His name is at the underscore legend underscore of underscore Kayo. Too many underscores. Too many underscores. Wait. <laughs> Kayo. K- Say it again. At. The legend of Kayo. Oh. Yeah. And he does these hilarious. Um, they're not. Hila- well, I mean, they're not really hilarious, but they're so spot on of like NBC NPCs in video games that you would come across. Yeah. And the music he has behind them and the way he says them is just. Oh, my God. It's like a Final Fantasy NPC that you would come across. Yeah. And I, I just love the creativity behind that. That was the first time I saw it. And there, there's a weird comfort to them. I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, this is a lot different from my guy. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like he's actually being funny. The yeah, like uh, he's har- like not harassing people, but right? Just, yeah, no, my guy's harassing people. <laughs> he he straight up walks into offices he doesn't know, and he'll just start going into rooms, and oh. like sitting in there. Oh. Security every single time has to escort him out. My gosh, what do you think the punishment should be for people who? Oh yeah, this is him. Oh, is Here this him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we play it? Yeah. Let's get one thing clear. I don't trust you. better pull your weight around here okay okay so he's not doing it in public he's no. just okay i mean he has been in public where you know it, obviously people can see him but he's not yeah. interacting with people it's like the genuine npcs of yeah, yeah. hashtag the walking dead game is extremely accurate uh, with this. i don't know if you've ever played that choice based story game i'm banned i i can't i am not allowed to play that game anymore oh shit what yeah. did you do um what happened was uh the developer i have a thing with the developers they yeah, yeah they told me i can't download it my ps5 is blocked from oh like gotcha and they PC. went out of business so funny for you i guess you got the final laugh why well yeah i did get the final laugh i thought that was a slam towards me like you were no oh, okay okay um <laughs> this one okay this is what i'm talking about the cozy one How NPCs are at night. I see an island way in the distance. You could probably get there if you had a certain item. I just played Final Fantasy, and this is... Pretty sure if you had a certain item, you could make it over there. Right? Where is he? It's beautiful. Not many people hike down here. (laughs) Take this for your troubles. What are you buying? Heard that in a game once. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I think this might be his girl or something. Or a friend. Hey, do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> hmm. I guess I'm just imagining that white hand on your shoulder then. <laughs> so yeah, he does a lot of these and they're just so yeah. comforting. I don't know what it is, man. Oh, life's interesting like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's so interesting. Do you see the NPCs that go live on TikTok? Do you know what I'm talking about? NPC Miles Morales? I have a big yeah. issue with that guy. Oh, do you? I have a, a little... lot of people do. I I think he uh, Go ahead. Do you have he, more? Uh, he allegedly got robbed while doing it. Uh Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. He made a video about it, but I still have yet to see a video of him actually getting robbed. But it was him like out of character saying like, "You guys win." I got robbed last night. <laughs> and sorry, again, I'm like sorry. I haven't seen anything backing this up. I feel like it's possibly in character for him to fake this like whole okay. robbery thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just well, I for feel more like attention. anyone who's a content creator can fake stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, it's so easy. Yeah. I don't trust a lot of things I see. Right. And that's the thing. I, don't, I haven't found footage of him getting robbed. Or anything. I have footage of him running away from the cops, and then he says like he's under monitoring for a little bit, and I believe that. But I, I haven't seen him get robbed, so it might not be real. It might not be real. Um, it, it, it's the ego behind it mm-hmm. that really bothers me. This is a common thing I've noticed with with just ego 
across any kind of platform, any kind of thing you do, when someone gets a real ego, yeah, it really puts a distasteful taste in in a lot of people's mouths, and they start looking at you differently. Now, let's be real. I've done fake ego stuff on the show. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like somebody who's like faking, like, you know, when we say prime time, all that stuff, that's obviously a joke. And I'll explain the rest of it here in just a little bit after this commercial break. And we're back. So, you know, we're doing that as a bit. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like this guy. What's his name? Oh, I just know him as NPC Miles Morales. Okay, That's NPC. All I got. Yeah, NPC Miles Morales, this dude. Hey, man, first of all, you're doing nothing. Yeah. Don't have an ego about that. Make him bank off of it, though. <sighs> <laughs> what would you do for money? What would you do for money? Not that. <laughs> Some people would, apparently. <laughs> because I think f- at a certain point, and yeah. it's different for everybody. It could be years down the line. It could be weeks. It could be days. It could be hours for some people. You're going to realize it's empty. Mm. It's just an empty thing. Yeah. And maybe I'm talking from the viewpoint of as, a, as an artist, but eventually you just feel unfulfilled doing that. And he might be already in a stage where he feels some kind of like emptiness from it and it's being lashed out because I've seen him uh, lash out when people aren't giving him money. Yeah, I saw that recently. Yeah, because I think it has been slowing down. I think the whole NPC live craze is dying down. Also, also the the idea of somebody going, oh, watch, I'm going to make them do this. Uh, like, it feels like we're right. an idiocracy. Yeah. Do you guys remember when, and this kind of died down, but TikTok Live used to just have, like, families of people going, like, please, please, please. Yes. And it was like, oh, thank you. Please, please. And it was, like, just begging instead of on a street corner. It was on TikTok Live, you know, for like a rose, and then they, oh, yeah. thank you, thank you, and then they keep begging. Yeah, I've, uh, the, it's like they're they're holding their baby, and yeah. their baby looks asleep or, or like sick, and you're yes. like, what the fuck, right? And, I well, I gotta ask you all, where do you find how? Do, what's the what's the real question I want to ask? I don't want to give money because I always feel immediately, unfortunately, because of the world we live in, it's a scam. Mm. Yeah. That's my first go-to. Instinctively, yeah. I'm like, is this a scam? And that sucks. And I hate that I have to think that. Well, Do you guys feel that? because most people out there are scammers. I mean, they've done the undercover exposés on people who beg for money on the streets. Yeah. And then they get in their car and they ask them, how much did you make today? And they made a lot of money. So not all of them are truly homeless, you know? A lot of people see that as an opportunity. Or like the mothers who bring around their children for sympathy, which I just think is absolutely horrific. Um, You know, but it's like, uh, after I did LA143, I had a lot of crafty in the back of my car. Mm. So I had a lot of chips, you know, a lot of like individually packaged goods. And so sometimes I'd see someone when you get off the freeway and they hold a sign, anything helps, anything helps, you know? So I'd be like, I don't have cash on me, but would you like a bag of chips? Most people would be like, thank you so much. But I remember one guy who had a sign that was like, please, anything helps. You know, he's looking there like begging. So I was like, I don't have cash, but I do have a couple bags of chips. And he goes, I don't want your fucking chips. (sighs) And it was like, oh, so not everything helps. Right. So you're not desperate. You're, You're probably one of those fake people on the side of the road. Sometimes I look at their shoes, you mm. know? Mm. That gives a lot away, or like the stuff that they have around them, or when they pull out a cell phone. Not that all yeah. homeless people can't have a cell phone, they could be in some kind of, you know, yeah. um, uh, housing facility, but like, there are signs where I'm like, I don't trust you, mm-hmm. yeah. you know? You look fake, you know? Yeah. And so it's like, one of those things where, you know, I remember when I was in Savannah recently, there was a sign that was like, thank you for giving donations to us so we can help our community. Like they had like programs, state programs and city programs. They're like, don't give people the science literally said, don't give people the cash. We have the programs. Give us, if you want to give money, give us the money and we will help these people, you know, to try and like deter that, like being on the street kind of a thing. And it's like, yeah, there are a lot of programs you can donate to that help. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and you know, like sometimes when I'd see someone at a Ralph's, I'd be like, I can get you some food. And some people say, yes, I'd love that. And some people go, no, I don't want your food. Right. So it's, you know. Yeah. How about you, Peyton? Because I know you're notorious for being anti-help. So. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. 
I've just never given anything ever. <laughs> that look, that de- those dead eyes that you're giving me. Yeah. Shark eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I was raised better. <laughs> Pulling oh, off man. the whistleblowers. How, how, how do you feel about that? Like, whenever you see people begging for money, do you immediately go, it's a scam? Or do you feel like, maybe this person needs really... I know. have a bleeding heart uh, with those things, but I usually don't have anything to give. Uh, the only time I can think of something negative happening was uh, just one guy got very aggressive with me mm-hmm. in a Tulsa Target parking lot uh, that all I was giving him was coins, because that's <laughs> all I had. Not like pennies. I was giving him quarters. Like... Uh yeah, he, he was, did not like that. He was upset with quarters. He was upset with quarters. <laughs> that purse. Peyton, yeah. you just reminded me. So when I first moved here, um, you guys know on Tahunga where you can turn left or right um, at the end. I was there, and there is this guy, a homeless guy, and he came up and he banged on my window and he's like, "You got money?" And I was like, hey, "Yeah, yeah, I do." <laughs> I was so scared. I rolled down because I had a car that had like this, and I slipped him like a like. A I think you got robbed. I, think I, got robbed. <laughs> I don't think you were being just. I think you got robbed. I was so scared. I was like, because oh, the light was red, I couldn't go anywhere. And I was like, yeah, I've got. <laughs> I think I got robbed. But he looked homeless. Shit. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that put different oh. perspective on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it got That's robbed. Not, I, think, I think it got robbed. <laughs> uh, uh, by how much I chose to give. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> we learn something every oh day. God. Comment down below if you've gotten robbed. <laughs> Have you been robbed? <laughs> <laughs> Unknowingly. <laughs> Comment below if you think you've donated money, but actually you've been robbed. <laughs> Wow. That's funny. That's Shit. really amazing. I didn't even think. Yeah, I guess I got robbed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I could give this guy money. <laughs> that was the most uh, Zeke thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Speaking of Zeke. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, he really was in the hospital. That was not a bit. <laughs> and Peyton... You, oh, you no. are a liar because I'm like, hey, guys. I'm a liar. Because you said you reached yeah, out you to did. him. No, no, no. I texted you and I said I would reach out to him. But <laughs> I had the feeling this was a bit. I said this is not a bit. Yeah. You but... say that a lot. That, see, now this is the boy yeah. who cries wolf. So, like, when you said it's not a bit, I immediately went to this is a bit. But I didn't want I was I was working at the time, so I just replied like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." I'll shoot him a text, and then oh, I wow. never did. And so, Zeke, if you are listening to this, I am so sorry. Uh, but you can see where we're coming from. You can see. Oh, he knows where but, I'm coming from. But I described it to you in such a serious manner. I didn't say like he got robbed or something. You know what I mean? And yeah. he has a knife wound. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was like. Something that was like... Yeah, but you've done a there was bit no about him in the hospital before. Have I? Yeah. <laughs> you have. <laughs> Did I? Have I really? Yeah. I don't remember. Okay. There's a lot of bits I do that Th- I don't remember. There are a lot of bits you do. I think that's the key word there. There's a lot of bits right. you do. I can see why you didn't believe me. All right. I'll take that one on the chin. <laughs> All right. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. Uh, there you go. Thank you, Peyton. You're welcome. Um, Speaking of... I realized I just dropped two people's names during another podcast I did that I probably Uh-oh. <laughs> shouldn't have dropped their names, <laughs> and now it's out there. So, what you I, gonna do? Yeah, what am I gonna do? Well, I gotta, is it something you wouldn't have said to their face? No, I would have said there it. We go. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Mm. But they chose that clip, and then I was thinking to myself, Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking it about? Went juicy. Yeah, it, it was the uh, my first play I ever did. Yeah. And uh, oh my, yeah 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 oh wow oh well it well, was just high school yeah well no it wasn't it was eighth grade yeah. <laughs> and I said Pete Who Brennan gives this oh shit, shit. Oh, yeah. you oh. said it again do you want me to bleep it nah it's fine He's, okay he was cool I haven't talked to him in a while Pete Brennan hope you're doing good but we were friends we're still friends I haven't talked to him in forever <laughs> He's um, gonna message you like you did it again yeah Jeff something Jeff Bridge Jeff Bridges not Jeff Bridges do you want to say the names or not. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know, right? Are you just owning I just, it? I, you know what? I own it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think, you know what? It's all right. Okay. It's eighth grade. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. It's eighth grade. Yeah. And uh, not, I didn't really say anything bad. It was just like an experience I had on the Yeah. Side. The only person who kind of looks bad in it, but he's in eighth grade, is Pete. But Pete, I mean, you're a good guy now. Yeah. You've been a good guy. Everybody's a bad kid in eighth grade. <laughs> who looks back on their eighth grade self and goes like, that was peak. Oof. That was my peak. That's sad. <laughs> Somebody listening to this going, huh? Oh, sorry, shit. <laughs> sorry. We don't mean to insult. Eighth grade was the year. Make this no your one, year. No that was one, my year. No one says that. Yeah. No one says that. King of the middle school. <laughs> King of the middle school. <laughs> or people who are like, high school is the best years of your lives. Yeah. That's crazy to say. Yeah. That's crazy to say to high school students. Yeah. yeah. Who are about to graduate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like, what? what? Wait, what? <laughs> I'll never forget. I was so, like, traumatized going from fifth grade to sixth grade because I found out in sixth grade we don't get recess anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean what we get mean? we get a 30-minute lunch? What am I going to do for 30 minutes? Yeah. I'll scarf down my food in five. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in sixth grade. <laughs> I don't chew. I don't chew. <laughs> so disappointing. So yeah. disappointing. No. Yeah. yeah. Question in Oklahoma. Okay. Uh, with the lunches, did you get the fries? Did they make fries for you guys to pick out? Are you talking like the little, like, uh, what are they called? The wavy fries? No. Stuff? No. Okay. No. I don't know what you're talking about then. I always got wet, wavy fries that were awful. You ever had Brahms fries? Yes. It tasted like those. Whoa. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? Everybody's always talking about the best fries. What are the worst fries? The worst fries? The worst? worst fries. I think Brahms has some terrible fries. Brahms, okay. That's always kind of, but I know that's kind of, that's very regional. That's not uh, nationwide, the Brahms chain. Yeah. So I know a lot of people are like, I don't know what you're talking about. Right, right, right. Well, let's talk about, uh, so, like, maybe nationwide, na- national or L.A. based, because there's been a big, th- well, let's do national. I have a hot take. Okay. I don't think they're bad, but I think they're overrated. Uh, in and out fries. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. They're I, so hit or miss, too. Yeah. Yeah. I order them weird, though, so I can't really get Do you in- get like they're loaded? Kind yeah. of, no. I order them light with no salt. What is light? They don't cook them all the way. Interesting. You want them a little crunchier. S- Less crunchy. Not, or... So, like, is the potato still kind of like a potato, or is mm-hmm. it soft? Still soft. Oh, softer. it's still soft. Okay, still I'm softer. thinking, like, the potato, like, crunch. No, kind of no, no, not snap. There's no like snap. Well There's done. no snap. Sorry, not crunch, snap. There's no snap. No snap. Nope. Um, yeah. My favorite all-time fries, though. I know we were. We said mm. we weren't going to talk about fries, but homemade fries that you put in a little, like, mm. I like that. Yeah. But what about... Food chain. Yeah. Food Jack cha- in the Box is my favorite. Jack in the Box curly fries. I've never had Jack in the Box curly fries. They're the best. <laughs> you know You're like cringing have. over there. Do what? Do oh, you no, know? no. I was just making a face. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arby's had good curly fries as well. I, I love curly Arby's fries. fries. I am a curly fry fanatic. I had too much Arby's this month. They were giving away a free <laughs> sandwich a week, Whoa. and I was taking advantage of that. Do it. Yeah. Any sandwich you- for any purchase? I was giving the uh, half pound <laughs> too much roast beef to fit in between two buns, but we made it work. You're getting your protein. Yeah. I guess, you yeah. Got that meat yeah. in Bulking you. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Nothing's yeah. going to happen, but it's, it's the way it is. How are you doing? How am I doing? Like with, with, with health-wise. You feel good? I think, I think I'm good. Yeah, you feeling energized? Uh, yeah. Because you've been doing no caffeine. That's why I asked. I've been doing no caffeine, and I've been feeling a lot better. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And I don't drink soda anymore either. That's great. The most sugary drink I do is a Powerade every now and then. Okay. That's just my fun drink. uh, Zero sugar ones. But I don't want that. Okay. Sugar hasn't hurt me yet. (laughs) So I'm taking advantage of that while I still can. (laughs) It's the caffeine that's been getting to me, but I'll ride sugar as long as I can. Yeah. Where's sugar from? Uh, Like a plant? Or is it? You said you'd ride sugar as long as you can. Wow. Great. Good joke. What's her? What's what's his name? Uh, sugar. Oh, that's right. That was a stupid joke. Sugar, yeah. Sugar, I'm not on it today. Mm-hmm. I'm not on it. Yeah. Maybe take an improv course. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know. Freshen up. When are you gonna come to my acting class? I don't know. I was talking to Mads about that. 
Would you like to? Maybe. Would you like to just be a reader and just audit? <laughs> I'm, I'm being serious. You're more than welcome to audit one. Can I read very poorly? No. Oh, okay. Then Why I'm would right. you do that? I don't know. I had Sabotage a teacher, your class. No, I had a teacher who did that because we used to have, you know, not That's a self, good exercise. Not self tapes. Yes. And you used to have bad readers. And so she was like, you better be able to do good with a bad reader. Yeah. It was a great exercise. Let me just come in and bomb. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Actually, that might work. It's You, um, you know what would be a good time to come? When? I teach Thursday. Actually, the class that you should come to is mm-hmm. probably the Friday night class if you're not doing anything Ooh. Friday nights. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll need readers sometimes whenever we're doing on-camera stuff. Yeah. And then also the um, the uh, the Thursday night class. So Thursday or Friday. Yeah. Actually, I'd, sat, I'd Saturday. I'd love to do that. I'm yeah. such a good bad reader. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. How would you give me a bad read right now? Okay. Um, let's pretend this is a script. Can okay. I? Yeah, I can pretend that's a script. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Thanks for using your imagination. All right. Hey, Candice. Hey. How's it going today? Oh, you know it's going. What's the matter? You seem upset. I'm not upset. You seem upset. Did you know that frogs are amphibious? I'm so sick and tired of you talking about frogs, okay? You have kids to take care of, okay? I know I have kids, but I need you to start acting like an adult. You're their father. Why don't you act like it? I am an adult! My name is Peyton G. Harrington! (laughs) That was good. That was good. (laughs) What's up? You, have a look you lost face. me at the end. Why? You got me. I don't know. <laughs> it didn't feel real. Because I said your name? No, it didn't feel real. Okay. That's true. It wasn't real. Okay. You have a good eye. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to be a star, kid. <laughs> <laughs> you just get to you Hollywood. got to get you to Hollywood right now. Don't tell your husband. Don't tell your husband. <laughs> you need to. I want to have you with like a fucking huge cigar. And you're on the, like, old-timey phone, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're just yelling this. I'm going to come into class wearing sunglasses and just smoking the whole time. Suspenders, a very dirty white button-up that's unbuttoned a little bit. <laughs> and just, yeah, just, like, really, yeah. like, oof. A gold chain. Yeah. Oh. We're getting very specific. I'm struggling to even imagine this person that you're thinking about. I'm not. Be more creative, yeah. Peyton. Oh, shit. You're right. Jeez. That wasn't real, and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a it's been, it's been fun. I started the new semester, so I'm really excited with the new students. Um, um I, uh, I love uh, uh, that video. Oh yeah, the one where everybody's screaming, screaming, and it's just your face barely visible in the dark. I sent that to you, right? Yeah. Oh, I just showed it to you. Yeah, oh, yeah, God, yeah. My memory. I was just gonna roll it. with it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're a good producer. Thank you. We're still friends, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just making sure. Sometimes I, that. I, still I think so. Okay. okay. I, thought, I thought we were gonna not be friends. I don't know. Okay. I have this insane, <laughs> not real fear that one day you're just gonna ghost me, Peyton. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a common occurrence to you? Have you been ghosted before? Uh well, yeah, but with you I'm like, I would be devastated yeah. if you ghosted me. You're just going to dip. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'd be so <laughs> upset. And it bothers me that I like our friendship and like you so much that that would devastate I'm me. I'm doing another show at Adobe. We just kind of make eye contact for a second. Oh, that's just- so heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's wow. Funny. Unreal, man. Unreal. Yeah. Do you have any weird th- fears like that that come up randomly? I mean, like, irrational thoughts, but nothing, like, in specific. Yeah. Okay. I just get nervous about stupid shit. And I have to ask my wife, like, this is stupid, right? She's like, yeah. Like, there was a, there was a uh, skunk smell in the apartment mm. the other day. And, uh, spoiler alert, it turned out to be something, yeah, actually from outside coming in. Mm. But I Googled skunk smell in apartment, and they were like, oh, that could be, like, sewer gas rising into your house and like that could cause a gas explosion wow. and it's just like oh shit Matt's our apartment's not gonna blow up right and she's like no <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> yeah it's shit like that oh man yeah I'll immediately wow. just go to Google and of course Google for any medical or like worry you have mm. it's going to jump to worst case scenario right away and it was like get out right now Call your natural gas department. It's gonna blow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I've stopped looking uh, symptoms up on WebMD years ago. <sighs> I'm not. I'm not strong enough yet. It will ruin your day. Yeah. It will ruin yeah. your week. Yeah. So just don't do it. I Go to know. a doctor. Yeah. I will never forget the time I went to a doctor and I had a rash on me. And I was, <laughs> this is fucking crazy. I swear to God, this is a true story. I know it sounds like I'm going to be exaggerating or making things up in it. I'm not. I promise you. I am not. This is a true story. I go to a doctor because I have a rash. Mm -hmm. I'm there. I'm telling her. I'm showing her where it's at and everything. And she's like, oh, very interesting. I'm like, she's like, does it itch? I'm like, no, it doesn't itch. You know, she's she's, she's like, does it burn? I'm like, no. Like, she's taking all this. In, and I, she's typing stuff, right? And she, and then she turns the computer around, and she's on Bing Images. <laughs> <laughs> Bing. Dot com yeah. slash images. Yeah. I don't know people use Bing anymore. Oh. Doctors. Doctors. And I'm like, oh, no way. <laughs> That's exactly what I said in my brain. It was just like, no way. And she's yeah. like, see, it could be this or this, but since it doesn't, it, and, and I'm like. Was she the doctor or the nurse? The doctor. Oh, no. She's like, we'll take some swab. You know, the, the uh, cultures or whatever to see what it could be. and But I'm like, first of all, you used Bing, not even Google Images? That's concerning. <laughs> you <use it. laughs> Maybe Bing's more accurate. Maybe there's something we don't know. Uh, Maybe Bing's got better filter. You won't get that nasty shit. Maybe. Maybe. But I, I have a habit of spotlighting things, which, do you know what that is? No, but I'm... Oh no! When is it just like shining light on things? Like yeah, just like yeah. So I will hyper focus on one area of my body mm. that's bothering me to the point yeah. where my entire attention and any little thing in that area will cause me distress, especially if it's in a sensitive area. If that makes yeah. sense. Um, I have a friend who I do jujitsu with, which will remain nameless. But he had an issue with something in a very sensitive area. And because, you know, you're rolling and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and I'm just going to say it's in lower extremities, not to get too specific. I think we got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way you said that. Oh, I, I think we got it. Yeah. Yeah. We did. Maybe some people didn't. Oh. And I'm oh. there for them. Okay. Okay. I'm there for the 1%. Wait, that's not a right. That's the one percent means something else, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm not there for the one. Well, maybe I am. Boeing number one. So, going back <laughs> to Boeing. Call back. Call back. Um, yeah, it keeps rupturing. For him. Yikes. Yeah. It keeps rupturing. And and doctors are not helping him in this situation. Oh no. Because. They're like it needs rest or whatever. You need to like it, it takes rest. It takes a long time to heal because yeah. certain areas of your body doesn't have as much blood flow. Yeah, like you know your heels, and like for older people, if they get an infection in their heel, because my dad had an infection, that takes months and months and months to heal. Yeah, and I'm like, oh shit. So yeah, that's what sucks sometimes. And so if you're hyper focused all the time, you, you're just not living the best life you can. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. That's all, guys. That's, That's all. That's it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Did you have something prepared today? Yeah, you know, I thought it's been a while since we had some videos to laugh at. So I made a compilation. Are you serious? I, yeah. <laughs> um, I made my Now, day. maybe you've seen some of them. Maybe you haven't. I don't know. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. Um, but yeah, yeah uh, we'll see. Maybe, maybe you'll laugh. Maybe you won't. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. There's no sound to this one. It's an Asian woman. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. my god. Oh my god. Is that god. real? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Oof. For our listeners right now, what happened was this woman put a corn on the cob on a screwdriver and she started to uh, try to eat it while the screwdriver uh, she, you know, is on mm -hmm. and it's spinning the corn on the cob super fast. She has long hair. The hair got caught. Mhm. Mm in the corn on the cob, spinning, and it ripped out a chunk of her hair. Ouch. 
Like I thought she chunk. was going to lose a tooth when I saw it. I was like, okay, that's I've, fair. I've seen these before. People lose a tooth because why are you doing that? Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, you know hair, Alex. I How do. long does that take to grow back? It's going to take you about, mm, for some people, depending on how fast the hair grows, you're only going to get to an inch, an inch and a half. Sometimes people get two in six months. Wow. Fuck. Yeah. So it's at least a couple years before oh, yeah. that. She's going to have to cut her hair so it all matches. Or she can get one of those like sticky made to size pieces. So you just pl- plop it in. Damn. But what if the hair starts growing on there? Does that then you switch to a wig? Damn. Yeah. Guys night. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I put this little transition because I was in a hurry. Um. OK. People are getting on a bus here. They seem foreign. Trying what? to grab a purse. Oh. Oh, shit. And now his hand's stuck in the door. Oh, and good. The bat. Oh. Good. Hit him. Good. 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 Hit him more. Break his hand. Break his hand. There it is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you want to steal a purse from a woman? Keep hitting him. Bus driver is hitting the guy with a bat. And his hand is stuck in the bus. <laughs> he's, so, like, he's crying. Good. Like <laughs> Cry more. Cry more. Cry. What a piece of shit. Good. Good. Oh, he's so bitch now. Look at him. Hands broken. Hands, <laughs> hands broken. Hand is broken. Hand yeah. is broken. Yeah, it's, it's limping. It's That's not a working hand anymore. That's not a working Peyton, hand. you look horrified. <laughs> I like that his one hand, too, is broken in the door, for sure. Peyton. Oh, my God, (laughs) The look you had in your eyes as you're watching this. Now there's cops. Oh, Oh, man. (laughs) He's going to go to the cops like this. Oh, that was good. That was really good. I thought you'd like the comeuppance in that. Oh, I love. Oh, that made me feel so good. No, here's another comeuppance. Uh oh. Oh, some oh, random crazy guy in a park in a area. Park. Shirtless dude hitting random people. He's yelling at. Oh, 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 and he got knocked out. Yep, that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay, that'll short and it. sweet. Okay, it's an Indian guy doing a backflip. Doing somersaults, he's doing backflip after backflip. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You just hit a woman on a bicycle, poor lady. Right. Mm. Here we go. Okay, another foreign guy yelling. Yelling over a balcony. He's, yeah, something's going. Throw something. Throw something. And then throws oh. oh my gosh! Oh, oh. wait, <laughs> wait! Are you showing us people dying now? <laughs> I'm assuming he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. Um, <laughs> dude, have you ever thrown something so hard you, you threw your body with it? No. <laughs> That's terrifying. Right. I recently saw a video, and we're not going to play it, obviously, but you know those parkour people who are on the edge of skyscrapers? Oh, yes. yeah. Just I hate those videos. Fall. Those make me so scared. Yeah. And here's the fucked up thing about it. He was dangling off, doing like pull-ups, and then <sighs> he starts trying to get back on, and you see him struggling. Oh no! And he's like, and you're like, oh my god! That makes my hand. Oh look how s- my hands are sweating just thinking about falling. Don't like it. And and he set up a camera like a live stream, <sighs> and and eventually like his arms give out, and he sc- the scream he gives is that's it. That's it. Dumbest stuff you could ever do in your yeah. life. What's the payoff in that? I don't understand that at all. I get an adrenaline high yeah. from it, yeah. Or the people who like rock climb with no safety. Same thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Same thing. And I'm like, you're getting the same view or the same exercise with it. You're just safe now. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> they don't like feeling safe. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, it's a woman holding a firework. Is that a firework? Let go, let go! (laughs) She just hangs on to it. Everyone in the background like, let go! It's crazy those are legal. Just for anybody to use. Right? That's nuts. 
they're all illegal in a lot of areas now. Yeah. Not in Los Angeles. Wow. I know in, in Owasso, Oklahoma, they were fine. <laughs> Why'd you laugh? Oh, no. Uh, when me and Mads were uh, freshman year of college, we, we went and got some fireworks. And she lived, she lived in like a little cul-de-sac area. And uh, got a bunch of fireworks. We, we, we grab, you'll see where this is going, what we thought was a fountain. Just it sits there and it just kind of, it just does like a little stream yeah. of fireworks. Uh, one shoots off, it explodes in the sky. <laughs> and I say the famous last words, oh, it's an artillery. Uh, we didn't mount this thing. Oh, no. So it is now shooting in all directions, going into yards. Uh, and <laughs> my sister's ex-boyfriend was sitting in the driveway. It goes up the driveway into his swim trunks and blows up in his leg and he had to go to the ER. Oh my God. Uh, it wasn't, when I say he had to go to the ER, it's not like a chunk of his thing was missing, but yeah, they needed to treat that. Ouch. And <laughs> I'll admit it, that's on me. <laughs> I should have read it better. Yeah. Wow. Was it my first time using fireworks? <laughs> yes. Have I used fireworks since? No. Can you, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? Hold on. This is crazy. This is crazy. Can you imagine just being like, oh, man, yeah. Fourth of July is great. Inside <laughs> <laughs> your swim trucks. And an explosion <laughs> happens. To the point where you're like, you, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Took it like a champ, by the way. Really? Yeah. We didn't even know he was hurt. He yeah. didn't, he was in shock. Yeah. <laughs> they sent me a photo, and it just looked like a really bad bruise. Okay, that's not. Like, he got yeah. lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like like <sighs> I mean like this was like uh, the reason I thought it was a fountain. It was so teeny tiny. So mm. they were like these little like baby like artilleries. It wasn't like things you would see like during a show yeah. or mm. anything. This thing was like thirty bucks. Uh shot off five artillery it's just shoots off oh it's an artillery it's like we're under attack my god i did a thing where you know those not the m80 ones but a really tiny one and i saw my friend holding it in his hand he would light it and then his hand would just go boom like that and i was and i did that and i was at as soon as i did it, i was like oh my god that was crazy the the force of it yeah it wasn't gonna because i saw him do it with it so nothing happened but the idea that people hold like m80s or something in their hands and try to like contain it yeah stupid i know you've seen that video of the guy who loses his fingers and then he just continues drinking from his beer can you know what i'm talking about no, no. He did, it was on a, a, a your mom's house his whole hand blows up Oh but my he God. is so yes. drunk. Yes, yes, he yes, yes. He keeps drinking as he is sitting there fingerless. Bro. Was that during one of our watch parties? I think so. But I must have blocked that out. That was so much fun. <laughs> that was so much fun to that watch that fun. with everybody. I threw up. Yeah. You did throw up. I threw up. I don't know if I'll ever watch it again, if I'm being honest. <sighs> well, did that hurt your feelings? We've watched two of them, so. <laughs> we watched two? Yeah, we've done two of them. I've done one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought we did too. Uh, I still want to. I still haven't watched the one with Bobby Lee in it. That's the one I want to oh watch. Oh Lord, he'll get a kick out of everything they show. I Maybe. still remember him saying, Maybe? saying the yeah. story about him going to the bathroom in his back of his car. Oh yeah, backseat. Backseat went to the bathroom. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. All right, we got one more video, right? How are we on uh, commercial breaks? Just making sure. Uh, you got like two minutes. Or you do it now. Bye. Oh, that we had. Wait. <laughs> We'll watch the uh, <laughs> last video after this or commercial four break. four minutes past. Sorry. No worries. All right. We'll be right back after this commercial break. And we're back. All right. Okay. What's this? This is a someone somewhere foreign throwing vases or <laughs> oh. things in it. Oh, no. It those are not back. vases. Those are propane those, tanks. I was about to say, is that a propane oh, tank? Oops. I thought an explosion was about to happen. If I'm being honest. Yeah. But no, he just got nailed in the face because he's chucking him into a truck. Jesus. Ouchies. 
That hurt must have killed him. Oh, somebody dead. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. He's okay. Okay. <laughs> Describe what we just saw. <laughs> this guy was trying to do not just a deadlift, but the one where you throw it. Over your back. Uh, like well, over yeah, your over shoulder. your shoulders. Yeah, and yeah. You, you, you bench press the, uh, the thing up from stand to, into a standing position. And it falls on his neck. Yeah, and then yeah. he hits his face, and then he his bounces back, and he's okay. I feel like it went Jesus. out of place, and then he hit his head, and it put it back into place, and he seemed to be okay. I think yeah, that guy, he seemed to be okay. I think he plays football or some kind of contact sport where he's like, Yeah, this happens all the time. <laughs> it's all good. Strong Bobby? neck. Strong neck. Strong neck. All right, I think this is the last one. The best for last. Oh no! <laughs> We're trying to push a car up a hill. Off a cliff. Off a cliff. Like it's back. Like that's a cliff, and they're trying to push it back onto the road. Yeah, thank God no one's in the driver's seat. And there's a. Yeah, thank God no one's in the driver's seat because just wait. Yeah. Just wait. Oh no, that's gonna. Yeah. Back right off the worser side. Oh, I didn't go too far. We can just push it right back up. Right. Ew. Right. <laughs> the, okay, so for people listening, <laughs> they push the car up the hill. Successfully. Successfully using another car to pull it. However, the momentum took it yeah. way past down yeah. the other side, and the car fell and tumbled down. There's this little kid at the end who, like, cries that I just think is hilarious. <laughs> just, just the sound of it. Not like, hold on. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. That was his car. That was, yeah. Man. Yeah, the whole village got together. Yeah, they did. Yeah. That's nice. That's community. Community. Man, it is. That's community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's community. Well, this is interesting. Oopsies. We learned next time they'll know. <laughs> Because that looks like a switchback, so that looks like it might happen a lot. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You ever watch those dangerous roads on Travel Channel? Oh, yeah. No. Where the truckers are driving literally on the side of a mountain, and it's only a oh. one-way. Mm -hmm. that's, that's gross. You can do that in Hawaii. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can do that on the back way to the road, <laughs> the road to Hana. Oh, yeah? And you're between a cliff and the ocean. And they go to blind corner, and you have to honk to make sure no one else is coming. Scariest shit I have ever done. I would never. Yeah. Yeah. The, the honking thing actually saved us from a car accident in Scotland. Oh. Really? Yeah, what yeah, What kind yeah. of dangerous road do you go in, Dad? Well, there was the narrow roads where it's usually only good for maybe a car and a half. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. you, somebody's got to, like... P completely pull over so that the other car can go but it was one of those uh, country roads that cut through like the countryside mm. and so um you're on a blind turn you have to honk yeah and you have to like go slow honk 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 and i was honking and everything and this car st and i start about to go and it comes to a screeching halt as i'm honking i'm like oof thank god yeah so it's a good tip. You said it was gross, which I I, I wanted to go back to that. Oh, that's just a fun adjective I okay. like to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's just gross. Where would – where, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I was just like that anybody would even look at that and think that's remotely safe. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to cut completely into the mountainside too. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're limited on the resources they can do. Well, yeah. good thing we live in an age where we can do that. Okay. <laughs> that's true. All right, man. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I mean, What's but they don't still, even if they have the resources. Uh, figure know. it out. Okay. The Egyptians built the pyramids. Or did we'll they? Find a way. Or did they? Aliens. Boeing. <laughs> Boeing. <laughs> Boeing built the pyramids. That's the only thing that's possible. That is solved. the only thing that's possible. Been solved. They needed some uh, flying aircraft. There it is. There it is. I think we just whoa, whoa! Imagine the conspiracy theories. What Boeing actually means when you put it in Google Translate. <laughs> it's like Assassin's <laughs> Creed, where it's like the assassins and Templars have been there the whole time. Boeing's been there the entire time. Holy we shit. just didn't know. 
<laughs> oh my god, guess what Boeing spelled backwards is? Oh shit. How do you spell Boeing? <laughs> B O E I N G. Thank you. <laughs> what? Gingb. Ginaiob. Ginaiob. Ginib. Which in Latin means. We see you. Gotcha. Gotcha, oh, bitch. Shit. Safe flying. Safe flying. <laughs> we see you. Eye in the sky. Ooh. Eye in the sky. Pyramids. Oh, shit. Whoa. Guys, if we don't live because we've discovered this, this video will be testament that we knew. How scared would you guys be if, like, Peyton, you heard I passed away and then Alex passed away? <laughs> what would you do? Honestly, what would you do? Okay. And it's like a freak thing. Yeah. A freak <laughs> thing. Have you ever seen It Follows? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm on the run. You you going on the run? I'm on the run. You wouldn't go. Would you really go on the run? I'd go on the run. If I died and Alex you died? You two just mysteriously died? Yeah. Yeah. So you Dude, I'm gone. You, you wouldn't pass it pass along in It Follows? Would you pass it along? Oh, that's a good question. Would you suffer, like let someone else suffer through? Here's the thing. This metaphorical STD horror film? Here's the thing. <laughs> I feel like I could make it work in It Follows. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to have to... We have to do some crazy shit, but we'll make it work. I mean, it's walking. It's walking. Yeah, it's pretty slow. I just got to go somewhere far every 24 hours. It's walking. You know what I mean? Vacations. Exactly. Right? You just live a vacation yeah. lifestyle. Yeah, work on the go. Let's keep going. Now, I have a question, just because I don't know the lore completely with this. Are you able to trap this thing in the cage? No. no. Oh, what happens if you trap it in a cage? It gets out. It, it it's it's, just... it's not. It doesn't obey the laws of like yeah. the physics or anything. It is just constantly walking towards you, and only you can see it. Yeah. And everything. So it could walk across the ocean or underneath the ocean. I think it will just naturally start just like swimming. Yeah. Across the ocean. Because there's a so pool yeah, scene, overseas. so I can't remember if it swam or if it just walked. I think it was swimming a little bit. They. Was it? they I think they kept it invisible the whole time. Oh, did they? Uh, because they wanted to show just like the point of view from the friends and everything. Cause that's when they're throwing, mm -hmm. well, trying to electrocute <clears throat> it. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. You know, have you heard of the immortality snail? Mm -hmm. Yes. I love the immortality snail. And somebody, they wrote something on a, I forget what kind of Reddit post or something like that, but it, it just struck with me like, Oh shit. Where the, the whole concept of this, for those who don't know, is if the snail, you live an immortal life. But if the snail touches you, you die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the snail is always slithering towards you. And nothing can necessarily um, destroy the snail. Yeah. Either. Yeah. So somebody said, as you're floating and see the last star die out, you realize this is going to be an eternity of hell floating endlessly through the universe because you shot off the snail in the opposite direction. Yeah. And I'm like, because it was like contained or whatever. And so I'm like, Oh my God! Yeah, I've seen that, but the opposite. Like it's like an apocalyptic world. Like everyone's gone. It's like darkness. But then they see the snail and they just sit there and accept their fate because they oh. want out. Oh yeah. 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 That would be something I probably would do. Like I think that's what most people would do. Can you imagine? Just in an abyss alone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe for someone out there, that's that sounds like a ball. But <laughs> well, another wonderful episode with you two. Thank yeah, you so much. Fun. Don't get robbed. All right. <laughs> well, Zeke's at work. I told him to FaceTime us, but he oh. said I'm at work now. Oh. I told him that's lame. All right, play us out, Baden. Thank you, everybody, for tuning into the show. Another wonderful episode. Uh, leave us a comment, subscribe, uh, hit the like button. That helps with the algorithm and helps us to continue bringing more wonderful episodes for you. Um, if you're a fan of the show, make sure you follow us at We Sam's World, at We Sam Keish, at Peyton Grufik, and at Alexandra Gorski. Join the team. Join the We Sam's World family. Come on. It's a nice family. We love you. Always remember to listen, think, and then talk. Bye. <laughs>